Are you seeing an error message like this that says that your page can't load the map correctly? If so, you're in the right place because I'm going to help you out. To display Google Maps on your website through a plugin, you need an API key. That may sound a little scary and technical, but really all it means is that you need a special code that says Google lets you use its map service. Now you are going to have to put in your billing information, but if you have a small site and you don't get a lot of visitors, you're probably not going to have to pay anything as Google does give a credit every month. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we have to do here is we have to set up a project on Google Cloud Platform with a billing account and the Maps JavaScript API enabled. Now you are required to have a billing account attached to your project if you're using the Maps API, but Google gives you a $200 monthly credit and most small sites don't need anything more than that. So it's very likely that when you're first starting out and you have a small website, you won't be charged. I will link the pricing table below. So if you are worried if you might get charged, you can reference that. But for most people, you're not gonna have to pay for this. So first we need to go to console.cloud.google.com slash project create. That link is in the description. And this is what you should see if this is your first time coming to this website. You're going to have to choose your country and agree to the terms of service and then click the agree and continue button. First thing you want to do is name your project. The name of your website might be a good idea here. And if you have an organization you want to link your project to, you can click browse and choose it, or you can just leave it as no organization and then click the create button. Next, we need to set up billing. So go ahead and click billing in this left side menu right here. And if you have no billing accounts added here, which you probably don't, if this is your first project you're ever making, click link a billing account. This is telling me I'm currently not an administrator of any billing account, so I have to create a billing account. So I'm gonna click that button. And you see over here, this says $300 credit for free for Google Cloud. That is a one-time credit for a Google Cloud project. Currently, Google does give $200 a month recurring for the Maps API, which is why I was saying $200 credit before. Next, choose your country. Choose which best describes your organization or needs. And then check the checkbox that you have read and agree to the Google Cloud Platform Terms of Service. And then click the Continue button. Put in your phone number so they can verify your identity. And then click the Send Code button. Put in your verification code and then click the Verify button. Next, you're gonna set up your payments profile. If you're an individual and you wanna use your individual account, that's probably pre-selected and you can use that. For me, I am a business, so I'm gonna click this drop down and then click pre Create Payments Profile. And it automatically switches my account type to business. I'm gonna put my business name right here. And then I'm going to add in my credit card details, my billing address, and then click the free start free start my free trial button. Then you'll see this little welcome pop up. It asks what brought you to Google Cloud. I am going to uh, click use specific product services and or APIs. And then the next button, uh, what are you interested in doing with Google Cloud? I'm going to click websites and then also Google Maps and then click the next button and what describes your role. For me, I am the president of my company, so I'm choosing that, and then I'm clicking the Done button. And now we're back at the billing page, and it does say uh, your billing account is linked to this project, so that's great. Next thing we need to do is enable the Maps API key. So go back to the menu with these three lines on the upper left side then choose API and services, then click library, and then maps JavaScript API should be right here. If not, you can search for it. So click that and then click enable. 
Now, finally, we can create the actual API key. So go to the Google Maps platform page, which is developers.google.com slash maps, also linked in the description, and then click the Get Started button. And then click to the Credentials page. Click Create Credentials, and then choose API Key. And then here is your API key. So you can copy it and you can paste it where your plugin is requesting or whatever you're working with is requesting it. You should keep it hidden, which is why mine is blurry right now, but yours will not be blurry. Most likely with whatever plugin you're using, you're probably going to have to pick your project name too. So choose whatever one you made in Google Cloud Platform. And if you ever need to view your API key again, you can just go back to the credentials page and it will be here for you to copy. And it does say right here, we got a little notification that our API key is unrestricted. Um, we should edit the settings and make sure to restrict it so there's no unauthorized use and people don't um, use up your quota and steal your free trial and cost you money. So make sure to click edit settings and if you're using this for your website, you can go ahead and choose HTTP referrals. And then you can add your specific website address here in this format, write it just like that, and then hit done. And then you can also set to restrict what API this API key can call. So you should go ahead and choose here what you're using here. So you're using the Maps JavaScript API. So check that and hit OK and, and then go ahead and hit Save. And we're all done. Hopefully that was way easier than you expected and you don't have that Maps error anymore and your life is a little bit better. Um, if you are making a website, make sure to look in my description. I do have a free website checklist so you can make sure you're doing everything that you need to do to get your website live and running and launched properly. And if I was helpful for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.